Hey guys, welcome back. I'm hanging with my brother again today. Last time we were together, we took the battery right out of my car, cracked it open, and we harvested the lead and the sulfuric acid out of it, which is what we've got here today. But it's really, really crude, and what we want to do is refine this. We want to melt this down and make lead ingots. And this sulfuric acid is really dilute, and we want to concentrate that as much as possible. So that is what we are doing today. All right, guys, so when we took the acid out of the battery yesterday, you saw how dirty it was. It was really cloudy, it was really black, and I think that's because of the lead sulfate was contaminating the mixture. Now that it sat for a couple of days, all of that is settled down to the bottom where we're left with a relatively clear mix here, which should be water and sulfuric acid. Now the idea is to boil off the water and leave the sulfuric acid behind. Now guys, obviously this is a lot of sulfuric acid to try and concentrate at once. So rather than doing the whole thing, we're just going to do a little sample here. I'm going to dip down in there with this container. We'll fill up about three quarters of a cup. So we can put this on a burner, get it up hot enough that we can boil off the water and this thing should not crack as long as we don't thermally shock it by cooling it too quickly. So I picked up a little burner here, it was about 20 bucks. I'm going to stick a pot on there just to help collect any spills if there are any and then set our Pyrex container of sulfuric acid right on top there. Now let's crank this up about as high as it goes. That's only going to reach about 100 degrees Celsius because the water will start boiling off. And what we're looking for is white vapor to start coming off the top. It's been an hour and a half on our battery acid and you can see we've dropped from three quarters of a cup down to one quarter of a cup. That means this thing is pretty much concentrated sulfuric acid and that's confirmed by all this white vapor coming off the top there. And what's at this point, we do not want to let it run any longer so it's a good time to go and turn off the heat and let this thing start cooling down. So with all these fumes vaping off, you can see why this is important to do this outside or under a fume hood because these fumes are very toxic and they sting the lungs when you breathe them in. I don't have a whole lot of acid and it's a pretty tall glass so as long as it stays on the bottom and doesn't tip over, this should be able to store relatively well for a long time. But how cool is that? Concentrated sulfuric acid from a car battery. And over here, this is all of the lead we're able to extract out of those pouches you saw and all of the individual cells. And come check this out. You can actually see how the different plates work now. These are the plates that were inside the vinyl pouches and you can see it's coated with lead. I think this is the stuff that we're after. I'm not sure if the lead oxide will melt down into lead, if there's anything salvageable from that, but we're just gonna put the whole thing in a pot and melt it down and see what we get. So we're outside with the lead plates. We've got a stainless steel container because this can take a lot of heat. We're gonna melt the lead into that using the gas blaster propane torches that we made in a previous project and see how much lead we can collect and salvage into these mini muffin trays as ingots. Toasty warm. Crazy hot. We got some lead there. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but. There we go. All right. That's a pretty good one. We're gonna just nuke all the leftovers and see if we can get any lead just to drizzle down to the bottom and then pour that out of the ingots. I'm really surprised that we're not getting more than we are. I thought there would just be a ton, but that's how it's going. Yay! Feels like we're getting more. Oh yeah. That looks a little bit dirty. Looks like there's more than just lead in there. So guys, we did get some pure lead ingots near the beginning of our melt. As it progressed, I think this got so hot, we mixed in some other kind of metal alloys. And these are still so raging hot right now. If I jiggle this pan, you can see it's actually still in liquid form. We just have some impurities on the top and we get rid of that. And then we've got some nice lead ingots. Sweet, it looks like this might work after all. So let's just go ahead and knock these out. I'm gonna knock them out on the sidewalk here. Some of these came out really nice. I mean, that's really pretty, look at that. Now check this out guys, these are all the mini metal biscuits we got out of our car battery, but they are full of impurities. So to purify them a little bit more, I'm gonna remelt these right here in this pot and then all the impurities should float to the top. We should be able to skim those off and then re-pour them. Wow, dang, that's heavy. Wow, that's really heavy. There you go, we came out with about eight mini muffin lead ingots from our car battery. So these things are looking pretty good. The next thing to do is just let them harden up a little bit and then douse them in water to let them cool down. And we are done. And there you have it guys, eight 
mini muffin lead ingots from our car battery. Theoretically, they should be cold enough that you can reach in and grab them. So Mark's gonna demonstrate that for us. There you have it, it's pretty weighty. How does that feel? Dude, it does feel really weighty. Let me see the rest of them. Oh, that's warm water, that's really warm. Woo! You want me to stop? Oh, you're pretty much done now. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Whoa. Oh yeah. It uh, definitely has a good amount of weight to it. Lead's a really heavy metal, it's very dense, and that's why almost every metal floats on top of it, which makes it really easy to clean it up because you can just melt it, scrape the slag off the top, and you come up with relatively pure ingots like this. All right guys, now there's some backyard science for you. We took a car battery, which my brother helped me hack out of my own car, and we have converted it into these stacks of beautiful lead ingots and concentrated sulfuric acid. If you don't know what this stuff is for yet, stay tuned because we got some really cool mad science experiments using this stuff. So there you go guys, a lot of really cool things that we can salvage out of a car battery. And don't forget, we have a ton more battery acid that we can concentrate into sulfuric acid. Very cool stuff, very good to know in times of emergency because sulfuric acid is kind of one of the building blocks of chemical society. You can make a ton of stuff with this chemical. So thanks for joining us for this experiment, guys, and we'll be looking for you in the next project video. Talk to you then. He's so random.